This video shows how to implement Q in Python using DQ module of collections library. So if you use DQ module, there is a couple of advantages. Add and remove elements from either end of this type of queue takes away of one time. So this is very fast. So this DQ objects are implemented as doubly dinger list. So you get these advantages when if you use DQ module to implement Q in Python. So let me start. First we have to import DQ module from collections library. Then create a queue like this. Now we have a queue object queue. Then we can add items to the to this queue using append method. So I am going to add three items morning, noon, and night to the queue. So let me add one by one. Now I have added morning, noon, night. Let me print the queue. See, in this queue, you can see three items. Next, I am going to take items from the queue. For that, we can use pop left, pop left method. So, when you take items from the queue, you have to take it from the left side this side so when you add an item you have to add it in the right side using append method so let me get an item from the queue see it has returned the first uh, the item which you added first then new then night at this point this let me print the queue the queue will be md so if you do pop left again you get index error because queue is md so this way we can implement queue in python using dq so you can implement queue using python list but that has one disadvantages because if you use python list you have to the append operation take only o of 1 but the get operation take o of n so that is very slow so i recommend to use collection dot dq if you want to implement q in Python. Okay.